Hello Android gamers, today I'm going to show you how to play a little Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 on your Android device. I'm going to be using the DOSBox Turbo app by developer Fish Sticks. This is the fastest and best DOS emulator out there for Android. There's been a lot of updates to this recently, a lot of improvements for Win9x emulation. Just going through the list here. Some neon optimizations, which is helping to speed stuff up. Check it out. I'm going to be using a beta build for this in conjunction with my Fallout for Android project Fallout Launcher. And I've got a whole video on stuff on that. You can check the description for that. And basically, this is a DOSBox version that runs games on DOSBox. So we're going to check that out and demo it for you today. Here we are, starting up the Fallout Launcher with DOSBox Turbo. Now I have a version of this which works with the QM emulator. You can get that. It's a free open source emulator. I have a video explaining that, talking a little bit about it. But it actually runs a lot better with DOSBox Turbo with full touchscreen support. So I'll have a video coming out in the next couple weeks about this and explaining how to install these kind of games. And then I've got some other experimental stuff I'm playing with, like I'm going to demo for you here today. As you can see, it's completely Fallout themed with sound. And what we're testing out today is mounting ISO images with Neiman tools inside of this image with DOSBox Turbo. So I'm testing this out to see how stable it is, see how well it'll run see how possible it is. Old school emulator fanatics don't know exactly what I'm doing, probably try this out themselves. Let's try out a little Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. This is actually running very well, and I'll let you watch some of the videos in that so you can see how all that plays back. Great nostalgia value. This is a really great classic game. I believe it was from 1997, but it's available on Steam now as well. Lots of ways to play it. Now you can play it on Android too. Now we're going to play it on easy because it's a little hard, especially in this interface. I've been trying it on both as you can see. I'll try it from the beginning, I'll let you watch the intro videos.
I'm not interested in petty political struggles. Well, you should be. Without going into too much detail, Jarek has been quite generous in his offerings. Unfortunately, you don't factor into them. But I am not without a heart. Familiar, yes. I found it in your dead father's home. I can decipher any language or code known, but this one eludes me. It must be important. Tell me what it is, and these gentlemen won't have to indulge their darker side. The dark side? I've been there. Do your worst. Well, I suppose that concludes our business. Here we are in the actual gameplay. What's happening? Mm, laser blast to the face. It's open ended, you can shoot civilians if you want. Depends on what kind of Jedi you want to be. I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. You can use lots of different combinations. Bring the mouse into it. Pretty useful. You can use the touch screen as well, of course. Just a little easier for the demonstration if my fingers aren't all over the screen and in your way. Also helps when you're getting ambushed. It's a trap! If you are using a Bluetooth mouse, you'll note that you can pull up the options menu on the left hand side of the screen, so you want to generally avoid clicking there.
I know you're up to something. Droid. Stay away from my droid. R2. You're not R2. Excuse me.
and they got me. There you have it, Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 running very well with DOSBox Turbo on Android. Please like the video and subscribe to see the latest DOSBox Turbo and emulation updates for Android. Thanks for watching everyone.